This tutorial is going to show you how to set up a self-hosted site and then install WordPress on top of it. And then finally, we will cover how to install a child theme on your new WordPress site. If you follow my link below, you'll be brought directly to the sign up page where you'll see a few different options for signing up on Bluehost. Personally, I recommend starting as efficiently as possible. You can always upgrade later or change if you run into any sort of limitation or see some reason that you could make your site better with one of their other packages. So for this example, I'm gonna sign up for the starter package and I will simply click select. Now that I'm on the domain page, I have two options. If you already have a domain such as minimalistbaker.com, which is what I will use in this example, uh, you will use this one. If you need to sign up for a new domain, you can actually sign up for it over here. Either way, put in your information and click next, and then you'll be brought to the account page. After entering your account information, you have a few add-ons and package choices. Personally, I always put as little upfront as possible. I will cover some of these details below if you have questions of why I would suggest or not suggest these services. For this example, I'm not gonna sign up for any of them and they could all be added later if you care to. Place your billing information and click next and then sign into your account where we will install WordPress. Once you log into your Bluehost account, you'll be brought to your hosting page. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the WordPress logo. And if you click that, we will be able to install WordPress on our site. On your one click install page, simply click install. Here we will see your domain name and an optional directory information if you want. You could use something like blog or something like that here, but really that's actually something you can change once you're in WordPress. I would suggest just installing it right on the top level of your domain and clicking check domain. If your domain isn't pointing to Bluehost yet, you might see this little error. It's really not a problem and it's something we can fix later. But if you click, I have read the terms and install now, we will now start installing WordPress. Once your WordPress stall is completed, you can click this view credentials button. You might have to exit out of this little pop-up window. And then you should see something that says your WordPress install is finished. If you click view, and I have to exit out of this window again. I can scroll down and I can see my URL, my admin URL, which is where we will log in, my username and my password. From here, click your WordPress admin URL, which will open up a new page. I know my username, so I'm gonna copy my password here. Go back to your admin page and insert your username and password and click log in and now we're in our WordPress dashboard. From your WordPress dashboard, if you click up here, you'll be able to see your new site. If you purchased a theme from StudioPress, you'll be able to follow this tutorial exactly, but if you didn't, you'll still follow the same process, and that is you will download a zip file to your desktop or to your computer, and then you will upload that file to your WordPress site. I wanted to use StudioPress as an example, not only because I appreciate the work that they do, but there are actually two files that we need to download. We need to download and install a framework, which is Genesis, and then we need to download and install our child theme. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do both. I'm already logged into my StudioPress account and I will just scroll down to my downloads and then I will download my theme, save it, download my framework, Save it, I just saved both to my desktop over here for easy access, and then go back to my WordPress site. We need to get into our WordPress dashboard to install our new theme, which can be accessed through this quick access button. From here, we need to go to appearance and themes. We will now click add new since we'll be uploading a theme. Click choose file. If you have a framework and a theme, you can install either one first. I prefer just installing the framework, Genesis first. If you're installing two, go back, return to themes page. So I've installed Genesis, which we can actually see here on our themes page. I'm gonna click add new again and install my child theme the exact same way. Click install now. I could go back to my themes page, but I can actually activate it right here. Once you see that your new theme has been activated, you can go back to your site homepage. And as you can see, our site looks way more customized and slick and ready to go. This already gives our site more character and it's gonna make customization a lot easier. And that's really it. You have a fresh WordPress install with a child theme placed on top of it and you're ready to go. I hope this tutorial was helpful as well as showed you just how quickly you can set up a great self-hosted WordPress site.